Hello, this is Corbus Gaming, and welcome to the very first edition of Let's Play Assassin's Creed 3. And without further ado, let us start this amazing game. Let us do this. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm Interesting. One he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found. All of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. Cesare! You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars. As the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origin. I do. Altair. I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. It's the auditory difference. allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything. To show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils. Went the truth. We're trying to fix that. To free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him, to Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does, they've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This Minerva and through him us he stands at the entrance to this long lost place armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio he holds in his hands the apple of Eden and we stand at his side ready to support him however we can his name is Desmond Miles and he has brought us to the end that's not the proper way to introduce someone what happened to Rebecca's face? It's even... What? Amazing graphics. I, for a moment I thought that that was in fact real. Great, great graphics. We're here. Oh yeah, great graphics. Great improvement. What happened to your face? Huh? What? His face is different. Let's go. Sean is different. Rebecca is different. Everyone is different. By the way, how did I? No, not working. Cannot access the start menu. All right. I was just trying to increase the voice volume. Everything else works perfectly, is at a proper, proper level. Voice volume needs to be... Well, it needs... I need to increase it. A notch or two. But it's good. So, we came here to... I know there's a vault here. I can see the pyramids and all, but... In that urban art... Creation.
Oh, you're anti Altair now. You're not Desmond. In another moment, down went Alice after it. Never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Amazing graphics. Although Ezio's face is... Well, an earthquake happened. And he... Is different. What the hell? What the hell just happened? Oh, we came from there. And... Alright. Fair enough. Exploration time. Oh yeah, fantastic. Options. Voice volume. Eight. Yeah, sure, why not? Eight looks good. Can you jump? No, not yet. Cannot free roam. I want to hear your voice. Do we have the same voice actor? I think we're here. You and we have? Oh, cool, cool. I think that finally the weird jumps might have been fixed. Moving is so fluent, so fluent. Movements are so fluent now. Graphics are amazing. Yeah, the game improved. By a lot. What is that? Something pretty advanced, apparently. Interesting technology. Yep. Technology. Key, you say, son. Sir. Oh. Colonial <sighs> era. Here we go again. <laughs> funny yes, shit. Man? Funny, funny. Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. No, what? So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? <laughs> Funny. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Normal day-to-day -day occurrence, okay, really. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. 
Interesting. Right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Oh yeah. Animus free. I like it. The interface is fantastic. The hood? Brilliant. Oh yeah, I like it. Animus free. Oh, movement is so fluent. This feels like a fantastic parkour game. Hopefully. Whoa, they're fantastic. So fluent. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Oh, yeah. How's the monkey jump? Oh, yeah. There's no monkey jump. Everything is natural. Yeah, monkey jump is automatic. All right. Oh, by the way, he this guy is now Altair Renezio. He picked up all of their abilities. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. Woohoo! The good thing about Ubisoft games is that you can replay everything. So, if I miss anything important, I can always replay it. Fantastic. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Woo! Ah! All right, cool. Air assassination. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Look fantastic. Jump the gap. Can I make that jump? No, I have a better idea. I have a better idea. Never mind. Oh, so fluent. Look at this. Wish I could train like this in my dreams. And retain the fruits of the train. Of the training section. Synchronization levels look good now. What? what? You should be able to build the world. It's time to find out what the temple wants from you. Eagle vision. Wait, what? Oh. I don't know much about American history because I am an European and we are not taught American history. But I think that this is the American Revolution where yes. they Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the opera house. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Hmm. Where the American colonies simply revolt, strike against uh, the English centered government. Government. Hmm. I see. So this is that this is where this story happens in that timeline. Sure. Understood. A deadly performance.